last year really a great trend towards family mediation particularly I guess for children who are living in one country where a parent is living in another country and there isn't really a way for contact with the other parent to be enforced. There might be legal arrangements in place or there might not be but somehow if something breaks down it could be a small misunderstanding or it could be you know due to the very severe conflict or family violence the children's contact with the other parent falls through the cracks. So we're noticing that a lot in our family mediation cases and of course the issue of international parental child abduction is ever present in our work and often people are resorting to mediation to try and resolve issues either um, prior to commencing legal proceedings or even while they're going on. Well, I guess our nearest neighbour is New Zealand and it's easy and it's on a very long journey away from between the two countries. So um, there is a lot of flow between those two countries. Um, in terms of international parental child abduction cases, the, the UK is also quite common because there's a fair bit of migration between the two countries. Um, increasingly, people are moving in our region of Asia and the Pacific too. So it, we're getting um, a lot more instances of family separation and conflict involving India and China and um, Thailand sometimes um, and even some of the um, what Middle Eastern countries, Lebanon, um, parts of Africa occasionally we get but certainly um, countries close to us, Japan, Vietnam. I think my advice <clears throat> or um, my discussion with them would be twofold. And the first element would be, what can we do to ensure the safety of the child in whatever situation they're in? How can we make sure that they're safe? And that in whatever way possible, how can we ensure that they maintain contact with the parent from whom they've been separated, if that's safe to do so? That's really important for children to maintain whatever connections they can. And for parents, you know, we want to work in a way that supports you know, the strengths that you have as parents. So um, we understand sometimes family conflict becomes overwhelming. We also understand that sometimes parents feel that the only solution is to flee family violence and child abuse. And what we'd like to do is support families to um, access services in whatever way possible before the step of removing a child is taken, whatever way that can be.